Hey everyone, Jay here again with another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I painted my Jokero Weaponsmith model for my Grey Knight's army. Basically, he's your friendly neighborhood space monkey. Since we're going to be using bright colors, I primed the model white. I then painted the entire model a light orange, which I mixed using a 3 to 1 ratio of sunburst yellow to blood red. Since it's fur, I purposely tried to create some variation in the orange color, which you can see here. After I was done painting the entire model, I separated the remaining amount of paint into two pots, which I will use to lighten and darken the model later. So I added a little bit of black to one of the pots, making a dark brown, which I used on the top of the head and the arms as they approach the hands and feet. To provide some shading, as well as tone down the oranges, as well as blend the orange and the browns a little bit, I gave the entire model a Devlin mud wash. After the wash dried, I added some bleached bone to the other pot of orange paint, creating a light brown which I used to then highlight the fur in selected areas, as you can see here. I also highlighted the dark brown fur with a very light dry brushing of Codex Grey. I started on the hands and feet by painting them Chaos Black. I then did an edge highlight on the hands and feet using Codex Grey. I also painted his armbands, his backpack, and all the metallic uh, parts of the model Codex Grey as I tried to do a non-metallic metal look on the model. Once again, to provide some shading, I gave all these metallic areas a badass black wash. I then highlighted these areas first with a one-to-one -one mix of Codex Grey and Skull White. And then another highlight with a one-to-two mix of Codex Grey to Skull White. I painted all the blue stones on the model, um, a gradient from Enchanted Blue to Ice Blue to Skull White. I first painted his face dwarf flesh. To give the face a little bit of shading along the recesses, I then gave the face an azure and blue wash and then highlighted the flesh with elf flesh. I painted the fur around his face bleached bone. And then I washed the fur around the face with watered down devil and mud. For his eyes, I did a one to one mix of ice blue and skull white. And I painted his pupils and his eyes chaos black. Lastly, I painted the gray areas around his face codex gray and then I highlighted them with a one-to-one -one mix of Codex Grey to Skull White. And that's it! You now know how I painted the awesome Jokero Weaponsmith. Overall, I have to say that this was actually a pretty challenging model to paint, despite its tiny size. Just getting the fur, the correct color and texture, was quite a challenge to me. And here's what the model looks like with its finished base. As you can see, I took a very similar approach to all my other Grey Knight models. So if you want to know how I did this, just check out my How to Make a Rocky Base tutorial. And here are just a couple other pictures of what the finished model looked like. So as always, thank you very much to all you people out there for watching and subscribing to my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to my videos and leave comments below. Also, you can follow my blog at paintingwithj.blogspot.com for more weekly updates, tutorials, and reviews, as well as a list of all my upcoming painting tutorials. So until next time, this is Mini Wargamer J saying, Happy Painting, everyone. And finally, I painted his faceplate uh, Codex Grey and then did white over the grey just to ensure that the white really pops on the model.